hey guys what's up so in this video i'm going to be adding an endpoint to retrieve for us statistics for income sources so just like we did for the expense category we're going to do the same thing for the income sources so we can get a source and then the total amount for the pre for the previous year so if if you haven't checked out the previous video i recommend you check it out because i go very i go very slow on how we come up with this data so I recommend you check out the previous video to this because in this one I'm going to be moving a little bit faster but I'm going to going to try to explain things as much as I can. So right now if we go to our views you can see that we have the expense summary stats endpoint. So I'm going to copy this. We're going to just tweak it a bit to work for the incomes. So basically what we want to do is we are going to do income sources summary income sources summary for the current year so what we do we are actually going to use almost the same thing here so this is going to be basically what we do is we are going to handle a get request and then we are going to get today's date and then the date that is one year ago and then we are going to be querying the, the income so here i'm going to do income so we are going to need to import the income model so here i'm going to copy this so from income Auto models import income so now here we use income to filter the incomes of the user and then we match the one year ago date and then the date that's not greater than today's date and then once we have that we basically want to have a sources list and then we want to make sure that it's unique so we are going to create this so we're going to also use this function called get source so it's going to be called get source and then it's going to be taking in the, the list, the iterable. So it's going to be sources. So in this case, this so this is going to be income. All right. So once we call it, now we should take in income. So for each of those, should return the, the source. Okay. So once we have that, now we need to, to look through through, through this, this income. And then for each create a source with the amount so here we are going to look through income so for income i'm going to call it i in income and then this is going to be source in sources since we already have them here so sources and then we basically we will be appending a source to this dictionary and then getting the value for getting the amount to value for that source so here it's gonna take in source here and then the value. I'm gonna change this one to get amount for source. Then it's gonna take in the income and then the current source of this iteration. So this is gonna be sources data, income, source data. Okay, so let's go to the function that does this. So like we said, it's gonna be named differently. And guys, if you notice this, I'm going like quite fast. Please check out the previous video to this cause we coded this almost from scratch. So you're gonna be able to get more information there. So we can actually keep all this. So what we wanna change is this. So what we wanna change is what we query by. So this is gonna be source. And of course this can be named differently. So we're gonna we're gonna do source equals the source that gets passed in. So this list I'm also going to rename it to income list. Okay, so I'm gonna change this to income. Okay, so I'm gonna change this one to income, and then this should be income. Then I'm gonna use i here. So the loop will be for every income. So for every income, we want to be adding the amount for that income record to our amount variable and then returning it. So I believe that should do it. So if I go to my URLs, I need to add this. So I'm gonna copy this, then bring it down. So this is gonna be income sources data. So we need to import our view see which name did i give it so income sources summary data summary stats so that that should do we'll bring it in here then also change the name 
and yeah so that should do it if we go back we can start to take a get request we get the yai go time then we filter the income records for the current user and make sure that they die in the last year period and then we have a function that returns for us the sources with no duplicates so once we have that now we look through all the incomes and for each of the sources we create a sources key here and then for each of the sources key then we get the amount for that by using this function which is here all right so we use this str because because the the amount are decimal fields so we need to transform them to be able to serve them over json oh so we need to rename this to get source so it, should, it returns income.source so let's try again now you can see that we get income cut source data and then there's nothing and that's understandable because we really don't have uh, any income record so i'm going to go ahead and create some so here i'm going to go to post income then try it out so i'm going to send like the whatever that is and then execute it i'm going to create the same like let's see i create uh, like in may for that it's created so i'm going to create for other sources so here post so i'm going to let's say add business then create this it's created i'm going to add one for other maybe it's money we got on the road which is always impossible execute it all right so once we go now to the endpoint again and execute you can see that we get our amount the keys are unique like we can see so this one was actually summed up with all the, the records we added so that's why we get a value slightly higher so now everything is working everything is good we will be glad to implement the front end together thanks for watching like and subscribe i'll see you in the next one bye